quick tip today is about removing the background from photos. It seems it's a really hot topic these days, and there are so many different ways of doing it. And there's a lot of good ways, but did you know that you don't need anything besides the phone that took the picture in order to remove the background, as long as your phone is an iPhone or a Samsung? So let me show you what I mean. On the iPhone, now, Google Photos can't do this. You know me, I like to promote all the stuff that Google Photos can do. This is something that Google Photos can't do. But if you have an iPhone, you also have the Apple Photos. So I'll open up Apple Photos and I'll find a picture that I want to grab the subject of it and remove the background. Watch this. All you do is lightly touch on the subject and notice how it's just Jim is now attached to my finger. Now people say, but I can't do that because when I touch and hold, it's a live photo and it plays. Well, this is a live photo, so it just takes a special touch in the right place. I mean, if I just touch and hold out in the background, then the motion, the live part plays. But if I touch and hold on him very lightly and then keep holding, it will pick him up. All right. So now what do you do with him? You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can copy him. Now that you him. have him firmly in hand. <laughs> <laughs> you can copy him. Uh, I don't know if I could deal with two of him. Oh, so I can copy and that will copy just the selection, which is the person, the foreground. And I could go to an email, for example, and compose a new email. And in the body, long press and paste. So there is the image of Jim without the background in whatever place I want. A email or a text message, something like that. And the other thing you can do is to save. So in addition to this original picture with the background, if I touch and hold and get, get him, I can tap share. And then if you scroll down, save image. So now that image of just Jim without the background is in the camera roll. And because I have Google Photos installed on this iPhone, it will pick up the whatever photos are in the camera roll. There, there he is from, from when I did it before. You do just save. Now, once again, I am not talking about Google Photos. Google Photos can't do this. I'm talking about Samsung Gallery. I open Gallery. It also doesn't have to be a person. And it doesn't have to be a person on the iPhone either. It can be a flower. So I touch and hold. And it it's now just the flower is attached to my finger. I let go and I get three choices. Copy, share, or save as image. Once again, I can copy. Then I can go to email and compose a new email. And long press and paste, paste, there we go. So now there is that flower, just the flower, no background, pasted into my email. And let's see if I can get this to work on this one. <laughs> Long press on the flower and save as image, image saved. So now it is in my Samsung gallery but it should also be in my Google Photos. Okay, so it just it just took a minute. Back to the iPhone, yes, there is the photo in Google Photos that is just the flower, so it took a minute. Okay, so that is remove background with no special software.